Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is the Media Marauder. We're at episode, I have no idea. My stand just broke. I'm not ready to do this, but hey, wanted to shoot a video for you. Haven't done it for a few days. This is what we got in the box. We send out 100 requests per week when we can, and we collect baseball and football and basketball and golf and celebrities and wrestling, hockey, pretty much anybody that's famous, we're going to send to you, and we're going to try to get an autograph. We have over 50,000 autographs in our collection over the past two years. So if you keep watching my videos, you can find out who to send to, and you can have a 50,000 card collection. But... Let's get right at it. If you like this kind of content, please hit the like button right now. It helps the algorithm. Other people can see the videos and stuff. I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button. Let's see what we got. We got Jim Zorn, 1980 tops. Got a 78 tops. I believe that's his second year. And we have a 77 tops. I believe that's his rookie card. And he did not sign that one. So he's either a three per person or he doesn't do multiples. I'm not sure which one, but... Cool. We got three or four back from Jim Zorn. He was an awesome quarterback for Seattle. Let's see who else we got back. Uh, Rob Andrews. Is that his name? Yeah, Rob Andrews. 79 tops. We got a 78 tops. We got a 77 Astros team card right down here. And right there, we got the 79 Giants card. You guys know I like those team cards. Those things are pretty awesome. But it feels weird doing it this way, but like I said, my stand just broke, literally. I tried to set it up, and it just snapped. So I had to figure out a way we could do this so you guys can see this. There's an 83 tops Tom Brennan. There's an 84 tops Tom Brennan. There's another 83, so he does do multiples. And there's a rookie card, 1982. Vaughn Hayes, I believe, charges $5. I'm not sure. I've never got Bando back. I don't know if he signs or not. I think I've tried him and I never got him back, so I don't know if I was just unlucky or he doesn't sign. I'm not sure. Next, we have Phil Brady, seven, or 89 tops. No, Donruss, 89 Donruss. There's an 88 Donruss. There's an 89 score and a 92 tops. I remember he used to not sign... Uh, in Sharpie. He used to always do ballpoint pen. So I'm glad to get him in Sharpie. He's been doing that lately. Let's see who else we got. Wayne Gross, 84 Fleer. I hadn't got him back for a long time. I thought he'd quit signing. There's an 84 Fleer. The first one was an update. This is the regular Fleer. There's an 81 Fleer and an 82 Donruss. So we got Wayne Gross back, four for four. Ah, we got Larry Boa. There's a championship card. I think he's in the background there. I love these Kellogg's cards. They don't come out very nice autograph, though. But still love them. There's a 78 Tops. And then there's an 85 Fleer. Hopefully I need those for my sets. I'm putting all kinds of sets together. Uh, yesterday I took my 85 top set and I put it in all sheets with all my other unsigned Tops cards. So... See, see who I need for my set and stuff. I have over 500 different tops signed, so it looks pretty cool. Oh, here's one I haven't got back for like two years, so he might be signing again. Casey uh, Candell. It's an 81 or a 91 Stadium Club. There's a 91 score, 87 Donruss opening day set, and a 92 Donruss. So it was nice to get him back. Like I said, I haven't got him back for about two years. So that was cool. Last one, guys. Rookie of the Year. Stan, was he Rookie of the Year or Cy Young Award? I think he's Rookie of the Year. But uh, he'll sign one for free. I think he charges two or, or $5 for two or three of them. I'm not sure. But I should just send to him one at a time. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I want to thank everybody that signed my cards. I want to thank you guys for sticking around. Hopefully I can buy a, another Gorilla stand. So... We don't have to do it like this anymore. But, yeah, it's not a bad haul for the day. Hopefully I'll get some more in. I just sent out like 50 or 100 like seven days ago. So some of those should be hitting. And uh, I've just I've been too busy getting stuff out right now. I just closed one of my stores. I just opened it up like three weeks ago, and I just closed it today. I just finally got all the stuff out of it. And 
they sprung a lease on me that I didn't like. The the lease had uh you had to be there six months, you know, and I wasn't going to be in a new place for six months. It just made no sense to me because, like I said, if you don't do very well, you, you want to be able to pull out in a month or two. You know, if it, if it pays for itself, you don't mind staying a few months or six months or whatever. But, you know, if it's $175 a month, and if you're not making it $175 a month, you don't want to lose, you know, thousands of dollars. That will be like 1200 bucks or something after six months or 1100 But uh, I went ahead and pulled out, so I lost my initial rent. But, hey, you live some, you learn some. Like I said, I still, I'm going to look for some other places because I like having the little, like, vendor malls and stuff like that. That way I don't have to be there to, you know, operate them. Anyway, guys, I'm just rambling. Hope you guys had a good time. Please like, please subscribe, please comment. Have a good one. Peace.